Hi everybody and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to take you through an easy violin tutorial on how to play Lean On by Major Lazer. If you want to know where to get the free copy of the sheet music that I'm using here, I'll link it directly underneath this video. It's all completely free for you to download and print out. If you want to see the violin performance music video of this, I'll put a link coming up here just by the side of me. Or if you're on a laptop and a computer and you can't get annotations, I'll put a direct link directly underneath this video. And if you want to know how to play an easy version of this on the piano, I will link that directly underneath the video as well. So if you want to know how to play an easy version of Lean On by Major Lazer on the violin, then grab your copy of the sheet music and let's get going. So I'm just going to very quickly explain what I've done with the music just for anybody out there that doesn't know, but you will notice that all of the notes have numbers above them and these numbers refer to the finger fingering or the fingers you're going to be putting on the violin. The letters above that refer to the string that you're going to be on. So you've got everything that you need to know. So for example, the first note is a second finger on the D string, a third finger also on the D string. Then you've got a one on the A, another one on the A, a third finger on the D string, second finger also on the D, second finger. So you're gonna, all these are gonna be on the D string until it tells you to change otherwise. So that's pretty much it with the concept that I've done here. It's two, it's two full pages long and I've written it out in its entirety so that you can follow it along with a backing track if you have one. This is in the same key as the original, so if you manage to get yourself a backing track somewhere, um, you should just be able to play it straight through from start to finish. Okay, so I'm not going to play it all the way through because I've already got a violin performance video, so if you want to see the performance of this, then don't forget to, to, to click in the description bar underneath this video to go and see that. But I'll just play a, a few parts of it and I'll just uh, give you a few kind of hints and tips and any tricky parts and other important things that I think you, you need to know about. So to start with, you've got your four bars rest then. <laughs> Okay, so the most important things is that your second fingers are all going to be next to the first fingers no matter what string you're on. So the first fingers would normally go roughly here where the blue dot is, all of your second fingers are going to be packed in right next door, nowhere else, right next door touching the first finger. I stress that, it's really important because if not, if you just if you just try and put your roughly your, your second finger next to your first finger, but there's a little bit of a gap, it's not going to sound right. It has to be touching it, almost to the point where it's kind of pushing it out of the way if you want to get your intonation absolutely spot on. Your first fingers on the uh, on pretty much all the strings, you haven't got to do a first finger on the G string, so I wouldn't worry about that. But the first fingers on the E, if you've got any, and the A and the D string are all going to be back. Now these are going to be back as far as you can get them. So many folks don't put their first finger back far enough. If that's where the first finger normally goes, most people sort of tend to put it there, but it's not enough. It has to go all the way back until you feel the ridge, or what we call the nut of the violin. So even when I do it, the pad of my finger isn't on the ridge, it's just on the bit above it, but I can feel the ridge with the sort of, with the back part or the side part of my finger. So it has to go really far back. You've got a few fourth fingers on the on the uh, E string, they're going to be right next door to the third finger. So the third finger would no, normally go on the dot here. The fourth fingers must go right next door. So again, it's pushing it out of the way. It's just really, really important if you wanna get your intonation spot on, that you make sure that your fingers are absolutely touching. When they're not, is almost worse than just having the completely wrong note or just having it completely out of tune because it's only gonna sound a little bit out of tune and a little bit out of tune sounds a lot worse than a lot out of tune, if that kind of makes sense, because there's just something that just doesn't sort of sound right about it. So this is what it should sound like. <laughs> So I 
mean, that was probably a little bit of an exaggeration, but people will, people will be able to identify the song and hear that it sort of sounds okay, but there'll be something that doesn't quite sound right about it. So that's to make sure that your intonation is spot on. Um, I mean, apart from that, the, the whole song is really, really repetitive. Um, it's kind of different in a way, but I mean, as far as the notes go, it's all really competitive. I know the rhythm might look a little bit complicated, but if, if you're familiar with the song and you know the words to this, it should be easy to sort of follow along with the words. If you feel like you wanna change some of the rhythm, absolutely go ahead and do that. This music is just something that I've just written out um, just by listening to the song over and over and over, um, just watching it on YouTube and then writing it down on here and putting it on there for you. So this is just how I have translated it from listening to it over and over on YouTube. So go ahead and change some of the rhythms, but you get the general idea with, with the notes and things. Trying to put songs like these that are sung, um, into actual melody notes can be quite difficult to do because there are lots of things that you can do with a voice that you can't do on a violin or a piano for example. Also if you want to change some open strings for fourth fingers absolutely go ahead and do that. I always do open strings in the first instance uh, just to make it a lot easier. I just want to go over the bit from bar 19 and onwards so that would be one two three four so it'd be the halfway through the fifth line down where you get that kind of high pitched um that singing where it sounds like it's almost on helium but it's uh <laughs> So there's nothing particularly complicated with that. I just wanted to play that three for you. You could play that an octave higher if you wanted to. So you could do three on E and then the four on E, which is next door to it, and then a two on E, and then moving down to three on A. So three, four, two, three, four, three on the A. And then it just repeats. And just roll that third finger over to get back onto the E string again. So there we go, I don't think there's anything else that's particularly complicated that I haven't gone through in here. Um, oh, there's just a little bit at the end at bar 55, so you're about halfway through the second page from about bar 55, those two lines, so one, two, three, four, the fifth and the sixth line on the second page, if you want to, because they might be a little bit complicated, but I did leave them in. It's kind of like an instrumental part, um, and it is quite complicated because it does go quite fast, but some of you might see it as a nice challenge, which is why I did decide to put it in, because I played it when I did the performance of this. But if you want to leave out uh, lines five and six on the second page. So if you do decide to leave out lines five and six, you want to count eight bars rest. So there's four beats in every bar. So in other words, count to 16, and then you'll hear when it comes in with the with the chorus again. Da 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 da. And you'll hear it comes in the chorus again, which starts on the bottom two lines, and then they they basically repeat. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links underneath, directly underneath this video, and there'll be a playlist, a link to a playlist as well. I've got lots of other performances and videos like this and all the sheet music to all of that and all that kind of thing. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.